In this video, I'm about to show y'all boys one of the best working NBA 2K23 badge glitches that you need to take advantage of ASAP to get your player maxed out extremely fast. Make sure y'all boys drop a like, drop a sub, turn on post notifications, man. You don't want to miss out on these bangers. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video. So to start this glitch off, what you guys want to do is you want to unlock the Courting Callaway quest. You do this by becoming a starter. As soon as you become a starter, you will unlock this quest. This is the best court to do this glitch on because it's a straight 2v2. There's plenty of other quests that allow you to do this glitch, but a lot of the other ones are 3v3, which takes longer. You definitely want to do this on this Courting Callaway quest if you want the most efficient badge glitch. So yeah, man, after you guys have done that, go to your map, and then the recording Callaway quest is at this court right here. So if you want to make this glitch even faster, I would recommend that you set this subway as your spawn point. Also, if you're going for shooting badges, I would recommend that you put on any size up escape that gives you a good step back. So you can either use the SIG size up or size up escape Kevin Durant or LeBron James or Kyrie Irving if you can unlock it. So yeah man, after you guys have done all of that, you now just want to go ahead and walk over to this Devin Booker court. Now once you guys get over to this Devin Booker court, all you have to do is just walk up to Devin Booker. You can skip through this cutscene right here and the game will start. Now look man, once this game starts, you guys just want to get as much bash progression as you possibly can. I'm going to be going for uh, shooting and defense, so what you guys want to do is just do a step back, shoot that hole, make sure you time it, and it should be green every single time. And then of course, I'm going to be playing defense to try to get my defensive badges. If you're going for playmaking, then you can just throw lobs to the AI, and then of course if you're going for finishing, then you can uh, just go dunk the ball. But you guys should notice that the difficulty in this is extremely easy, but you also get a whole lot of bad progression. This is one of the fastest ways to get your player maxed out extremely fast. So yeah, man, all you guys wanna do is just ball out, get as much bad progression as you possibly can, and then you wanna make sure that you're ready to close out. So look man, as you guys can see, I got through this game extremely fast. We did not miss a shot. Now make sure you're paying attention right here. As soon as the game is over, be ready to close app. As soon as you see your bash progression load up, make sure you're ready to close out the application. You can see the bash progression. You wanna go ahead and close out the game. You guys can see that we were able to unlock a whole shooting badge. And then now all you guys wanna do, just go ahead and load the game back up. Once you guys reload the game back up, you guys will see that if you go into your quest, the Devin Booker quest is still going to be there, allowing you to do this glitch as many times as you would like. Just to show you how good this badge glitch is, you guys can see we're able to unlock one shooting badge just by doing this glitch. So yeah, man. Um, And then you can, of course, you can go ahead and equip your badge to whatever you want. I want to put it on this just for the video. And then now you are able to spam this glitch as many times as you would like. Also, while you're doing this glitch, your VC also stacks as well. And you're able to core your badges. So now all you guys simply want to do is just walk back over to the Devin Booker court. And you're able to do this glitch once again. All right, so once again, once the game starts up, just get through it as fast as possible. Do your step back if you're going for shooting. Make sure you time that hoe, and it's literally going to green every single time. Play defense, work on your defensive badges, and you just want to get through this game as fast as possible. The best way to do that is simply by doing a step back and shooting threes.
All right, so look, man, as soon as the game is over with, make sure you guys are paying attention. Be ready to close out. As soon as you see your batch regression, go ahead and load up. You do want to go ahead and close out. You guys can see how much we got right there. So as soon as you see your batch regression load up, just go ahead and close out the application. And then once again, go ahead and reload the game back up. Now once you guys reload the game back up, if you go over to your batch regression, you guys will see that all of your batch regression is going to be stacking up. Also, if you go into your quest, you will also see that that cording callaway is still going to be there. So for one more time, just show you guys that this does stack, all you want to do is just go ahead and walk back over to the Devin Booker court. Now in this game, once again, you guys just want to ball out and get as much batch regression as you possibly can. All right, so look, man, once this game is over with, make sure y'all boys are paying attention. As soon as you see your batch progression load up, you wanna close out. You guys should see that we should be close to getting another shooting badge. As soon as you see your batch progression load up, just go ahead and quit out the game and go ahead and reload the game back up. As soon as the game loads back up, you guys can see that the badge progression does count. We almost got another shooting badge unlocked and we've only played three games, bro. This is an extremely fast way to get your badges, badges maxed out extremely fast. Take advantage of it while you can. Drop a like, man. Drop a sub. Turn on post notifications. We out. Peace.